Hey guys, it's Melanie and today's video is gonna be all about how I take my aesthetic notes. Not too long ago, I asked you guys if you were interested in seeing videos on how I take my notes and stuff for school and I got a lot of responses asking me to do so, so that's exactly what I'm showing you guys today. Also, just letting you know, I have like my window open, so sorry if there's birds chirping and you can hear the road outside, but it's kind of like relaxing, you know, so I'm just... Just rolling with it, okay? If you guys didn't know, I'm kind of obsessed with taking notes and stuff. I even made a freaking outline for this video um, just because I'm extra like that. And I know taking super nice notes in general can get hate or people will just be like oh why are you so extra like that it's just school but personally i feel like i study a lot better when i write my notes out really neatly and it also makes school a lot more enjoyable for me because you know i mean it's school so when i can add my own like artistic touch or whatnot into it i find that i enjoy it a lot more <laughs> Also, just wanted to put this out there that I do do, I, I do do running start. So I take college courses. That being said, two of my courses are online, which makes it a lot easier to take notes. I have taken on-campus courses and I found that when I did take those courses, it would be a lot harder to take nice notes just because professors will talk really fast when they lecture. So I would either take bad notes and then rewrite them and study them at home. Rewriting them was my form of studying, or I would just like try my best to take decent-ish looking notes and sometimes they wouldn't turn out as good. So since I take a lot of online courses or I have and I enjoy them, it's a lot easier to take nice notes and fully like sync in the material while I'm doing it because that way I'm just reading a textbook or watching a video and then I can like stop it and replay it um, to meet my needs, which is really nice. And yeah, sorry, I just talked. A lot and there's an airplane now so okay let's get straight into this also if you guys want to see more videos on school stuff or how I take notes or how to have nice handwriting how to do hand lettering make sure to let me know because I think this is my first school ish note writing video so first thing on my list look for inspiration now this is not necessary but I find that starting with inspiration is what really gets me going with my notes so my very favorite Favorite thing is Pinterest. I freaking love Pinterest for finding inspiration for many things, but it has a bunch of great stuff for notes. If you guys want to follow my Pinterest, it's Melanie underscore lock, and I have a I don't know if it's called a folder or whatever, but I have one called bullet journal or something like that, but it also has my like school note inspiration. But basically it just has a bunch of pictures of people who are way, way, way better than me at note taking and bullet journaling. I just love looking at those for inspiration. They're so good at writing stuff. I don't know how they're so good at it, but they are. And sometimes I just like look at that and then I will copy the same format or use the same color scheme or do the same outline, I don't know, something like that. Totally recommend Pinterest if you don't use that. You can also look on Instagram. There's a bunch of great bullet journal slash note study Instagrammers, bloggers, is that what they're called? I don't know. I used to be super into those and following those. I probably had a bullet journaling account. I think I did, uh, yeah, that died. I love following those. Just seeing it in your feed honestly gets you a lot more motivated to do schoolwork and to have nice notes as well. I'm sorry if I'm out of focus. I really cannot tell because I'm kind of blind. The next thing to do is to choose your supplies. What I do is I have this fat pencil pouch that has all my stuff in it, like all my pens, and I'm kind of a crazy person and I bought way too many pens and I had this phase where I just kept buying pens. By the way, I get all my pens from Amazon because it's a lot cheaper. You can get them at Michaels or craft stores or different stationary places, Staples, but it will be more expensive there. So I totally recommend going to Amazon for it. I have like a bunch of different pens and I keep them all in one place. I choose out a certain color set for the week and then those are the only pens i'll carry in my backpack like to and from school or to and from the library with me just so i don't have to carry as much around because trust me i have like a million pens i'll have one ballpoint pen that i always use which is the g2.38 because i like my pen to be skinny skinny like me skinny queen a tombow don't kill me if i'm probably butchering all of these okay i have a tombow black calligraphy pen and then i usually choose a mild liner and a tombow pen and a zebra pen that are like in the same like complementary colors or whatever looks good together same shade 
you know what I'm saying. So I'll usually carry around five pens. So now onto actually taking the notes since I just talked about pens for five minutes. You're gonna start off with is the title. This is the most fun part. I'll show you guys some of my favorite title techniques or fonts to do, but I totally, totally recommend Pinterest or Instagram and then like screenshotting and making a folder just to reference back to them. Some of my favorites are just doing like cursive there's like so many different types i don't even know how to explain it but i like doing cursive if i'm feeling a little extra or i have a little extra time i'll outline it give it a shadow shade it different colors put dots around it doodle around it i also really like to write stuff in color and then write in cursive over it. Just do small things like that, you know, it just makes it look really nice. There's a lot of different ways to do titles and I usually do the same for the subject just because I want it to be a little more cohesive just cause it like messes with my head. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little creative and I wanna get, you know, exciting with my title, I'll mix it up. The next thing is headers and like layouts and bullet points and all that fun stuff. As for that, I'm also gonna show you guys some of my favorite headers. It really depends on the outline for my schoolwork. Typically, I just do my headers in black pen and then it'll be in all caps or something like that. I also like to put banners or boxes around it or just write it in a different color compared to my notes. For layout, Depending on the subject and how much I write or what notes I'm taking, it'll be different. Sometimes I split the page in half. Sometimes I'll just write it full out. It also depends on what notebook I'm using. Bullet points and stuff. I usually draw little arrows or do just circle bullet points. Sometimes if I'm feeling extra, I'll put a little star or a heart or a little flower or doodle or something just to make it more fun. And sometimes I'll just write in paragraphs. It really depends. The last thing is using doodles or inserts this is honestly if i have like a lot of extra time or if it's like math or something i'm doing econ right now and it requires a lot of graphs and stuff i like to put those on sticky notes sometimes just because it makes it pop more i also find that for my diagrams and stuff color coordinating it is really helpful just for my own memorization i hope that this was helpful and that you guys will take nice aesthetic notes now I guess. If you guys enjoy this video or you want more school slash notes videos, make sure to let me know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck with your studies, with your schoolwork, and with your aesthetic looking notes. I hope that y'all get A's, 4.0's, grind. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.